just received a donation in the mail from one of the alumni of our graduate program. And I thought I would open it up as an unboxing video on my channel. So here's the box. There's a label on it here that says that it's from um, an alumna named Leah Pels who lives in Utah now. She graduated a few years ago and she worked for a while in one of the shops in New York City that makes Broadway costumes. She left that job to hike the entire Appalachian Trail north to south and then she worked for a while as the tailor at Pioneer Theater in Utah. One of the perks of working there is its proximity to all of those great national parks like Zion and Bryce Canyon and such. And this box I know that it is a donation to our graduate program, and I believe that it is uh, several of her projects that she made in my classes when she was in the graduate program, but I don't know for sure what all is in here. Let me put this box down so that I can show you the things that come out of it a little better. Uh, so the first thing is this lovely pillbox hat that she made in my millinery class. It's got an under layer of a red fabric and an over layer of this lovely cutout navy fabric. <laughs> These armadillo shoes designed by, I believe Alexander McQueen, um, came out and were famously worn by Lady Gaga. So in the costume accessories class that I teach, there's a unit on shoes where we talk about forms of garments that go over feet like spats and gaiters, but we also talk about alterations that you can make to an existing pair of shoes to completely reshape it. Leah asked me if she could try to create those armadillo shoes from the McQueen collection and I said yes and she made these beautiful shoes around a platform. The platform's about that deep. She created this leather upper that has these laces that go under the arch of the shoe and are riveted through and through around the opening. I wonder if my feet fit in them because I would totally wear these. I mean, they'll actually probably become a teaching sample for when I teach that class in the future, but it has a zipper up the back. It's unfinished on the inside, but it's boned. Um, Strapless Foundation is one of the projects they do in the third year. Um, where they create a gown that requires a strapless foundation for support. I think this is the mock-up for that foundation. That's not really a teaching tool for me, but that's a teaching tool for uh, the head of our program who teaches that class. Oh, for that costume accessories class, we do a project for something that's technically a prop, but often in costumes, the crafts artisan has to make it because it needs to match the garment or is designed by the costume designer. Folding fans being one of those things. And this one, she had this fan leaf printed digitally at Spoonflower and, and then attached it onto this fan frame here. So that, oh, this is lovely. I believe that this is Leah's historical reproduction project where the students choose a garment in our historical costume archive as an antique piece of clothing and they reproduce it for a modern body. Take a pattern off of the original, scale it up to whatever size they've determined they're going to do it in and then copy it and this one has some, some really lovely trim details on this sleeve. This is another item that will be a wonderful teaching tool for the head of the program who now teaches um, the class in which they do this historical reproduction. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> 
So this it's fully boned corset made up in this lovely Asian brocade with uh, chrysanthemums on it. And that is a lovely addition, perhaps to the teaching collection, perhaps also just the corset stock for Playmakers Repertory Company. I was just thinking about this beautiful bonnet recently. Somebody I follow on Instagram made one of these drawn bonnets and I've made some myself. And I, I had remembered that Leah had made this one and that it packs flat. I'm so glad she's donated this. This will actually go into Playmaker's costume stock. This might have been her final project in that class. She found um, some research images of these padded caps that people would put on children so that when they fell down, they wouldn't get a concussion and bump their head too hard. We called this the Victorian crash helmet. <laughs> it's really a lovely example of one of these types of hats and it's constructed for an adult head size. It's adjustable through the side where it ties on both left and right. And she made it in this lovely suede. And that's everything. This is a really exciting donation, and I hope you have enjoyed seeing what was in this box with me. All of these remarkable, lovely, wonderful pieces. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notification of new content. Join me each Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern for my live studio stream.